Hello and welcome back to the Everloom. By the way, regarding this piece of red hair, for all, all of those of you who just can't resist commenting in a very um, less appropriate way than necessary, Lucas Pacha says that he knows what it looks like, but it's not, so don't. Okay, he said that uh, and in, in his walkthrough, which I didn't read, okay? I didn't read his walkthrough, but it's in the first page of his blog, and I couldn't help but see that because it, stuff like that catches my eye. Anyway, it's not what it looks like, all right? But he realized that, and it's not, okay? So, so don't... <laughs> it's too late. I should have said that in the last episode. The black wind blows. I just want to see what the weaver had to say about one of her slaves leaving her island. The African-American wind blows, I mean. Uh, awkward. Awkward now. Alright, let's talk to the Sphinx before we find out the answer to the riddle. Just to see what her riddle is before we know the answer. We got it all out of turn. Alright, Sphinxy. Ooh. What a delicious young man you are. A bear. Yes. Mmm. Yeah, you're not going to eat me, are you, Sphinx? Tell me I'm pretty, you handsome boy. <laughs> oh, yes. Hmm? You want to pass? Oh, no. No, no, no. You need to solve my riddle first. Yes, purr. What was alive before sun and moon? What is there left in an empty room? What doth exist between twelve and noon? Purr. What do you see right after a swoon? Bring this to me, or meet your doom! Was that too dramatic on the last line? You know, I'd never heard a little dish like you. <laughs> Oh, humans are so much fun to play with. <laughs> yes, I already know the answer to your riddle, huh? Nothing. I really am not quite sure why that would be so difficult to know. So I will bring you nothing, which I will bring you nothing at all. I will empty out my inventory, and that way you cannot say that I have anything left, all right? Nothing I shall have, then. Nothing at all. So that was way too simple. Notice I couldn't go through the blue fire, even though I knew it's blue fire and can't be walked through. I'm just going to leave these cacti here, because they aren't hurting anyone. You know? No reason to... I already talked to you. I already talked to you. All right, Cadmus. I already talked to you also, but I want to read your dialogue again, so talk to me. This bell floated away. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. She's spending so much time on that cliff. Thank you for helping there. Maybe I'll ask Martha for a ride out. See if I can find her. Anyway, can I help you with anything before I go? That Sphinx, Sphinx is giving you trouble. Oh, sh but she's all bluster. That blue fire she's sick dicks to isn't real. You just need confidence to walk through it. Didn't you notice? The answer to her riddle is nothing. All right, I did notice after you told me. It's kind of cheating, but I really don't know how I wouldn't have known that. And that is the weirdest looking confidence I've ever seen. Is it? Is it not now? Confidence. Just a little bit weird. It's quantified like that anyway. It's just strange. All right, Sphinx. I'm ready to tango with you now. Ooh, you're back for more? Burr. Yes, couldn't stay away, could you? Here's the riddle again. What was alive before sun and moon? What is there in an empty room? What doth exist between twelve and noon? What do you see right after a swoon? Bring this to me, or meet your doom. Your voice changes at the end of that sphinx. What is up with that? I kept the last line in there. Yes, prrr. I decided it was naked without it. 
Ooh, I said naked. Hey, <laughs> you naughty boy. Making me think wicked thoughts. Making me think wicked thoughts, Sphinx. Making me because I'm ready. Ah, uh, man. Okay. Okay, Sphinx. Um. Yeah. No, 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 no. You, you saved the bed for yourself and watch this. I got confidence. Boom. Ooh, look at you, naughty boy. Walking through my fire. Brrr. Yes, you don't scare me, Sphinx. May I pull your tail? I step on it. Step on your tail. Oh, I, I pressed the space bar thinking I was the jump button. Nope. No, no jump button in this game, much as I'd like to have one. It's weird, uh, the screenshots that Lucas Pach made for this game before we published it showed some combat, some good old-fashioned Zelda-style sword-stabbing, swinging combat. It's what I want. It's the only thing to make this game even more awesome than it already is. Just give me some enemies to slay. Dragons. Oh, who knows what. Yes, there should be dragons on this, right? Dragons can fly. We're floating. Perfect. God, this switch is too stiff. You'll need something heavy to hold it down. Hold on, hold on. That's not your voice, God. Your voice sounds a little bit more like this. This switch is too stiff. you need something heavy to hold it down. Confidence. Confidence is heavy. Why can't I just slam that upon it? The pressure plate, huh? Pressure plate? One of those pressure plates like Minecraft, eh? Need something heavier than a human, huh? Are there any of those Minecraft I seem to have forgotten? Nope, I don't think there are. It's just weird. I, I would think Minecraft on that. I mean, it's just a pressure plate. That's just... I, I, I don't know. How heavy exactly? Heavy enough to bring this whole world crashing down? Or something? Hey, I saw you, man. What's your name? Bad cultist. Shh. I'm hiding. Whoa, bad cultist. Uh, are you so bad that they kicked you out? Or are you so bad that... Are they good and you're bad? Or are you actually bad because they're bad and you're good? What's your deal, man? You're, you're, you're missing your fire spot. The brothers wanted to sacrifice me. I'm hoping they'll pick someone else if they can't find me. Okay, okay, you're definitely bad, and they're bad, which makes you, um, bad. The whole idea is stupid anyway. Their plans aren't going to work, and they could kill us all. That's definitely bad. They're just a bunch of fools with too much power who think they know everything. Here, take this key. It'll let you turn the knobs on the fire gates down south. How far south? Like, just a little bit? The, the gates that those explorers want to get through? Maybe you can figure out how to stop them. I can't. I'm too afraid. Now, go away. All right, man. And thanks for the key. Why do you have to be a man anyway? It's, they're sexist too. This evil cultist, sexist. And I've never seen such horrible cultists as sexist cultists. This, that's just wrong. That's all you need to know to know they're bad. Sexism, it's not a good thing. All right, Sphinx. I know the answer to your riddle, but I must only come to you when I have nothing in my inventory. Yes, I must give you only my myself just my, myself just just come right up to you within range of your tail you can swipe me or your mouth which can bite my head off it's really oversized all right explore I come bearing a key which can open the fire gates of doom I think probably not I, I don't really know Switch for this gate is jammed, you say? Well then, I'm glad I gave up. <laughs> Switch for this gate is jammed, you say? 
Well then, I'm glad I already read that. I already read that. Wait, but I thought I had a key. No, it's the fiery gates way down south. Not a little bit down south, but way, 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 way down south, huh? Is that how this works? Alrighty then, so the switch for that gate lies all the way over here. That gate. That controls the gate, alright. Fire gates of doom death. Okie doke. Got what I need. Now how do I get out of this infernal place? There we go. The weaver. Hello. The black wind blows. Okay. 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 So these are the fiery gates of doom. Yes, let's just see how doomy they- Oh my gosh, it burns, it burns! Ow! 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 Man, I'm a sadist. Sorry, Bill. I'm just- I have to get my pain bringing, alright? If I can't bring it to anyone else, any enemies, I bring it to you. It's just how- I'm just messed up like that, man. I'm sorry. But I'm not. <laughs> Space. Hey, interesting. Is that the key I used for that? Or is there some other gate that I'm... Wait, hold on. How am I supposed to get that rune stone? Alright, 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 man. You just have to time this right. Just time it. Time it. Oh, oh, oh. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. And go. And go! And go, go! 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 Just keep going! No, oh, you almost made that time! Keep... Alright, come on, man! Come on, Bill! Don't be like that, man! Go! 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 Come on! Don't be a wuss! He's just a little bit of fire! Go, man! What? Stop backing up! Just run through it, alright? Just run through it! It'll be alright! Just run... Just run through it, okay? It'll only... It'll hurt, and in, in the end, it'll actually burn less than you getting near the edge of it so many times, okay? And I'm not gonna stop until I get bored and have to end the episode. Thanks for watching it. Goodbye.